such a treat. Bingo. We've got tea kai mats and then we've got boots. The chronic procrastinators. She's trying very fast. Good morning guys and welcome back to Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas Day 11. What the hell? We're getting through the month very fast. I feel like I've never noticed how fast a month goes until I've consciously been doing Vlogmas. So anyway, welcome back. I hope you guys are well. It's currently Sunday morning for me. So happy Sunday morning. It might not be morning for you right now, but it is such a... Honestly, I feel like I've not seen the sunrise for so long but I just really wanted to like get the camera out right now and just speak to you because I want to get myself ready for the day I want to scrape my hair up I want to get out and I thought it would be fun to get ready with you so I thought today we would so it's Sunday for me I typically never vlog on Sundays so I hope you guys are all well started the day off with a workout I just jumped out of the shower and I'm just going to go in with some E45 on my face I have found that using this has just like really kept all spots, all breakouts at bay. My skin honestly, honestly has never like felt nicer. It's just such like a clean product and I feel like it really shows. And then I'm going to go in with the Primark Drunk Elephant Dupe Drops. But last night I left you watching Harry Potter. We did not finish Harry Potter. We fell to sleep. So we've got to finish that later. By the way, these look so crazy to start, but I promise you once they're blended, you... You look semi-normal. I'm so pale. You know, I just feel like I've not been prioritising my self-care very well. Like, other than like having a bath, like I just feel like I haven't been on top of derma planning and doing my brows and making sure. Okay, verdict on the Primark Drunk Elephant dupes. The first day I used them, they looked like quite good on my skin. And I was like, wow, like it gives me such a glow. I feel like when you first put them on, like it's so intense. And then I wore them after that under makeup. Would never do that again. But I'm so pale, I was like, no, I'll add them. But I just don't know. Like, they've just... I don't know. Let's let it settle. If I have to wash my face, I have to wash my face. I just feel like I have honestly not been prioritising my self-care. Like, whether it's been tanning, whether it's been my eyebrows, derma planning, Just, like, making sure I, like, feel and look my best self. I feel like because it's the season of wrapping up and sort of, like, covering ourselves up, I just haven't been on top of it and I don't like like I hate that about myself sometimes where I just put myself like last priority so I thought today a bit of a reminder for me and a bit of a reminder maybe for any of you guys that just like get stuck almost on autopilot and just think like oh that's not important like you know moisturizing my whole body isn't important or you know just making the effort to feel good and like radiate your self-love and confidence sometimes goes to the bottom of the priority list for me anyway and this is just like my bit of reminder like no come on you know pull it together so that's going to be the focus of today obviously like i said it's sunday so poa i've got dinner at my nan's which we go every other sunday and like the whole family have a roast dinner so we've obviously got that but i thought around that plan I thought it would be lovely to go to TK Maxx and stock up on some self-care essentials because I haven't been to TK Maxx for a while. I was hoping to go yesterday, but we just didn't get time. And I really need just some like re, re ups of stuff. So I thought a TK Maxx trip would be fun. And then I also thought tonight we'll just have like a big self-care evening. Honestly, obviously spend the day together and you know, we can cook dinner and stuff later. But yeah, I just really want to get back on my self-care. So I'm gonna just sleek my hair back. This is like day five and honestly, it's just annoying me, like being down. Like yesterday I was so over it, so I was like, right, we're just gonna put this off. This is just this random mousse that I've got. And honestly, I don't know where I got this from. And if you can hear, there is not much left of that product. And it makes me so sad because I know that I'm gonna have to start trying to find another mousse. So if anyone knows and has ever seen this for sale anywhere, please let a girl know, because I do not know should we start the video off with some gratitude three things that i am grateful for first of all i am so grateful for my boyfriend my period is due any day and like you know when you can just sometimes like they just don't deserve it <laughs> not that i'm like overly nasty but i've been i was just so snappy this morning before we went to the gym and i had to check myself and I'm just so grateful for him. Like, he's always so kind and understanding. But sometimes I'm like, no, like, 
hormones girl hormones are crazy boys i think can be but girls are something else so i'm so grateful for him he's just always so supportive and he just gets it and um, i'm just gonna put a bit of the aldi dupe of because maybe we could pop to aldi as well actually i've been meaning to do that for a while um maybe we could pop to aldi because that is on the way well it's right by tk max and um, there's a new one I'm just gonna run a bit of that through the pony like that yeah so first of all i'm so grateful for my boyfriend he's just always so supportive and just he just gets it like and I just love him. Second of all, I'm grateful that I got to move my body today and I feel so much better for it mentally. Like I've been not really, again, like prioritizing going to the gym just cause I feel like it hasn't, haven't, it, this is what I mean. I can't say it hasn't fit into my routine cause I haven't made time for it to fit into my routine. Just like probably for the last week or so, but it's obviously Sunday for me. So I feel like starting from today, I'm gonna just make more of an effort to just like make it part of my weekly routine to make sure I'm working out and move my body and not just like walking the dog because that's fine but I also need to be doing a little bit more so okay I feel like those drops actually now have dried down fine I think the initial minute or so of them can really scare you but just power through girlies because they look really good now and I feel like I've got makeup on when actually I haven't got anything on I don't know what this brand is. It's just like a fly away and brow control. It's by that brand Answer. I don't know whether it will do much on the brows, but we could brush them up a bit. Instead of using the soap brow. So I really want to have a no makeup day today. I just feel like I always feel so much more free with no makeup on. So this is a good medium. So that's that. I've got some new earrings from Primark. I literally have not worn earrings all week because I just haven't had any, so I feel like a part of my soul has been missing. Let's put these in. These were only £2.50. What a sleigh. Do we like these? I hope we do. I brought them because they were really the only ones that I could have brought, but I'm just hoping they... I'm going to can't get them back on. Okay. See how pale I am. It's not good. I need to tan tonight. I need to tan, I need to dermaplan, I need to do my brows. I, I've shaved in the shower, so I'm freshly shaved, but I just need to glow the hell up. Like, it's just not. We love a self-care Sunday. It's like the best day to have a nice little self-care check-in. Okay, right, let me throw a fit on and then we will leave and go to the camera. Okay, this is the finished look. Got this on my lips. I don't know if I did that on the vlog or not. Bit of Laneige slip sleeping mask. Also, I'm giving one of these away in yesterday's Vogma. So if you want to be in a chance of winning, it's like a it's within the video. But if you go and watch the video, then you will see how to enter. But yeah, this is the finished look. These are oh my god, to see it's a bit patchy. Don't know how this will work. These are Primark. This is how the skin looks, the brows, and this is how we're gonna go out. Not the best, but we feel you know, at least I'm slick back and clean and just feel free, like no makeup, hair's out my face. I feel like I can't get irritated by it. So let me throw a fit on and then we will be off. Every good shopping trip starts with a coffee stop, but I'm not gonna get coffee because I don't really fancy it, but I've come to Costa and I really enjoyed all of their Christmas drinks. If you go back to Vlogmas day one, they had some unreal drinks, but I don't think we tried the sticky toffee one i'm sure they do like a sticky yeah sticky toffee hot chocolate i think i'm gonna ask if they've got it anyway hello do you have the sticky toffee hot chocolate oh is it only in the latte okay um could i try the black forest hot chocolate then please oh okay <laughs> um Oh, could I get the after eight hot chocolate then, please? Um, yes, please. That's all, thank you. Thank you. Okay, that was a little bit of a fail, but that's okay. Um, I thought that they, did, that they did the sticky toffee as latte and hot chocolate, but apparently it's just a latte. But I don't know if I have a free drink, or if not, I'm very close to getting a free drink. what a treat i've got one. Oh yeah because me and mia brought like four drinks from here so it took me right across i've got one out of ten and i haven't even spent my free drink yet 
brilliant so yeah I really loved the Costa drinks. I can't, I can't remember which ones we had, but I kn we didn't have the After 8 one because we had it loads last year and we literally loved it. Um, I love a mint hot chocolate, so I'm so excited. But TK Maxx is literally there poking through. I feel like the face has, like, now it's sort of died down. What do you think? I don't know. I feel like it looks probably all right on camera because of the smoothing filter, but it's okay in here. I'm so hungry, but I don't want to ruin my dinner. So I've refrained from having a sweet treat or like a panini. I was very close. I was looking at the menu like, but it seems so good. But come on, no, we can we can withstand. I'd rather like be able to scoff all my dinner and have a really huge pudding. In our world. Hello, I've got a free drink. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you so much. Have, Have a good day. Bye. Ooh, I'm so excited. Costa honestly does slight, especially when I think it comes to hot chocolates. There's going to be a hump here. That's why I'm going really slow. I can smell the mint. Oh, I always like really. Okay, there we go. I'm not very good at driving. This Costa is not very convenient. Like the way it's just laid out, it's just not. It's like humps. Like who wants a hump in a drive through? I don't get it. But. Costa Slay, hot chocolate slay, free drink slay, 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 Sunday slay, TK Maxx slay. We all slay. Oh my god, it's got cream on. Just bury me. Just bury me with this hot chocolate. Could you please don't indicate right and then go left? It's confusing. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> insane okay the car park was giving full which gives me the impression the shop's going to be very busy so i'm parked about 10 million miles away but this honestly is a strong it has to be a 10 out of 10 like i couldn't i couldn't give it anything more or less like i don't want to make them you know it's even got little green look at that the green little like sprinkles on the top like 10 out of 10 although don't you get a free chocolate or is that just with the, the terry's one i don't know Oh, it feels so nice to shop with a drink. It's such a treat. Here we go. We're here. We made it. I'm hoping for Christmas goodness. I'm hoping for Christmas gifts. I just want to try and get some, you know, some things ticked off in here. Well, I don't know if this will be necessary, but I'm going to take it in case. I actually love this one. I used to order quite a lot of it off ASOS. It's Sunday rain and you get a body butter, a body scrub and a bubble bath. So you get the three things for $8.99. They make really good presents. And they've got this mango and coconut one. They've got like a winter night trio, which looks really lovely. And then they've got a rose flavour. This is a bit different. This is a scented candle and oil. Oh, no, a pillow and room mist and an essential oil. Look how nice does that look for the scent of the year. Also, I could literally drink this in two minutes. It's basically empty already and I've been in here approximately 30 seconds. The gift sets are really cute this year. I think I have any really good. I'm trying to have a look and I'm, I'm thinking of all the people I've got a buy for. I'm just thinking, can I, can I, can I take anyone off? These are gorgeous. Guys, when I have my house, if anyone's watching, if anyone wants to get me a present, these. They are Luxury Italian Body Lotion and Shower Gel. These look stunning. Oh, I've also got this a bubble bath and book and bath salt. And the scent is citrus. Okay, I'm getting one. I love looking for natural Jojo to see which ones they've got. They got any the Hollywood line. Like, I'm thinking like a like what a man wants to smell like in his Jojo is very different to a girl. So I'm gonna have to put my male head on because these are all aluminium free. This brand it's humble, but I don't think you can actually smell them. Black spruce. It's like gonna smell like a Christmas tree. You can't smell it, that's the thing. How am I supposed to know? I always use you for my but we've actually run out. This is mild mint and this has got no fluoride in. I'm gonna try that. Have you guys ever had any of this plant? I feel like there's always a lot of it in here. This is goat's milk collagen and body scrub. I thought it was a body it's a body scrub, I was thinking it was a body butter. Oh, I wish they did have that in a body butter. They're just pure scrubs in here today. Well, I've never had those. These are milled soap. What does that mean? Do you like pop them? I was thinking about maybe getting some of these gift sacks. These are three. These aren't very big though. I feel like I'm better off going to like Home Bargains or B&M or somewhere. But, you know, just to put like 
all of Ollie's family's presents in or like put all of Ollie's presents in. Oh my God, look at these candles with the trees on. That is so special. This looks so cute. It says holiday balsam. I don't know if I can that right. Oh, I really like that actually. 12 99 How cute is that though to go on like your console table or something? I also love the look of this. Lemon. It's a sand and fog one. I feel like Ollie's auntie, that would maybe be a good present for her for Christmas. I don't know what scent she likes. That's very lemony. Like that's not like a everyone will like it. That's, that's like you are a slip for lemon, aka me. But I know everyone's not like that, so I don't want to buy that. But she hasn't, oh, that would be cute for her house. She hasn't long moved into a, like she's got a beautiful apartment, so I feel like things for her house would be cute, like maybe a little candle and like a little ornament or something. That could work. Anyone else love having a little look around the books when they come in here? That looks a good book. I always feel like they just have really cool books, like very like self-help sometimes, like coffee table. That's a cool gift because it's got the snuffer in. 19.99. I wonder what they smell like though. I wish that they did those sets in like the ones we already know. Okay, right, there's a lot more candles here. This one's really cute. This is tobacco and amber, but I love the actual like glass that it's in. 7.99. That smells actually really nice. Very fun, these are like 5 99 Little soda pops. To pepper. <laughs> Me. That actually smells like Dr. Pepper. Shut the front door. No, I actually can't. I actually can't. I love that. It doesn't, it's not my aesthetic, but. Oh my god, I can't believe how much. Wow, that smells. What the hell? Mia had a really lovely one from here called Peppermint. And I loved it, but I've never seen it. I don't know where, whether she got it from this one, but it was either Home Sense or TK Maxx. Which one do we prefer? I feel like this one looks less like brandy. I think this is probably the most aesthetic virgin olive oil I've ever seen with the Turkish eyes on. I love that. So cool. Guys, this is the face. I actually feel like I was over at Turner. It's really settled into the skin, but this is open. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Hello. Hello. One sec. <laughs> uh, yes, could I please? Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't you eat in the Thank you. The chronic procrastinators will know what an achievement this is because I get so bad at presents. Like, you will always catch me on Christmas Eve, honestly. Like, 20th of December is where I really start panicking and start ordering stuff. I ordered quite a bit online last night and then I've done that and that's honestly just ticked off quite a few people. So I'll give you a call when we get back because I don't think anyone that those presents are for would watch the video, so. There'll be no surprises ruined, but no, I feel like I've honestly ticked, like, I feel like I deserve a reward. My cost of hot chocolate can be it. Like, that has really took a lot of pressure off me. Because if you like me, your notes is full of people's names with a tick box next to it, and no one is ticked off. Everyone's empty. Everyone's got nothing. That is me right now. I'm so bad. Like, and the thing is, I'm such a good present giver. Like, I, I'm one of those people. I, I like really listen to what, you know, in passing. If someone's like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with, or like, oh my god, I saw so and so try. I don't know. We'll eat just give food. Like, it really sticks in my head. So like, it's not even that I'm sat here like I don't know what to get everyone because I actually do know what I want to buy everyone. It's just actually getting the urge to actually do a bit like i just think yeah i'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it tomorrow and then all of a sudden it's like shit it's christmas in three days and i've got no presents so i'm just gonna drive to my nan's for my lunch sunday afternoons are honestly one of my like favorite times of the whole week because it's oh my god i thought that car was just about to drive right over the central reservation is it called um that's scary 
yeah sunday afternoons are honestly one of my favorite we have dinner with my grandparents my brother's there my uncle's there it's just like really nice we all just get together and have our lunch together so i'm gonna meet ollie there obviously he's not with me um, i'm gonna meet him there and then we'll continue with the fun day but i can't wait for a roast i'm so hungry i feel like my hot chocolate like got me to a nice level but now i'm like right what's next what's the main course what are we on for dessert <laughs> Nanny's made us a victoria sponge Just put up to Aldi. Have not. Wait, my camera hasn't. My camera's on the wrong way. I know it's the same for you, but it's weird. Like it's it normally flips over. Anyway, no well. I just got to Aldi, and this is a new Aldi. I have not been to this Aldi yet. Okay, did that flip right? Then I don't know. I haven't been to this Aldi yet. It's quite big. I mean, I'm excited to see how big it actually is. But we just got a new one because the ones we've got, they're to be fair, quite small. Oh no, it does look like this. Okay, right, let's see what goodies they've got. I need some whipped cream as well for that chocolate. I haven't been to Aldi in a hot sec, so this is fun. Gosh, the aisles are very wide. That's when you know it's a bougie Aldi when you have got wide aisles. Okay, I feel like this is the section that we want. Oh, the special buys aisle. Uh, are these just like normal? That looks so bougie for Aldi. £2.50, does that not give a few brands? <laughs> it's giving white company, to be honest. Oh, I wonder what these are like. This is supposed to be Joe Malone. This is number three pomegranate. Mm, that actually smells very nice. This is lime, basil and mandarin. That one's nice too. And then there's what? Poppy and barley. These are $6.99. Big saving compared to dropping a small fortune on Joe Malone. Ooh, I like that. That one's, I think, probably my favourite. That one and the first one, the, um, what was it? Pomegranate. Pomegranate was really good. I don't really know where I'm looking for this stuff, to be honest. Okay, guys, I found it. These are all, like, the, this is like the dupe section, I believe. These candles look so bougie. Also this root diffuser. I think that this is the Bobby Brown G, the Vita Face Moisturizing Primer. Oh guys, I haven't seen this. Is this good? Let me know. It's got red light technology, blue light technology, and green light. It's only 50 pounds. I feel like you can pay so much for these in somewhere else, but they're literally 50 pounds. <gasps> these are all sold out, the hair dryers. That would have been something good to try. And also these are the slip dupes. Almond body lotion. That smells incredible, guys. So I think this is supposed to be the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Dupe, but they've only got this colour. Obviously, that is way too dark for me. So I can't try it, unfortunately. I was thinking that it was this, but it's not. I remember it's the other one. Out. Next stop is Boots, because I just realised that I also forgot to get me a Derma Pomer razor from TK Maxx. So... Hopefully Boots have one and then I'm also going to pop into M&S and I want to get, well, well Ollie wants steak for dinner so I thought we can go to M&S instead of having to go over to Sainsbury's because we, we are so bad at on Sundays, like we have dinner at my nan's and one thing about us is we can eat so much so yes we have another meal on Sunday. I think it's because we have our Sunday dinner like relatively early, we have it like two, one, two, whereas some people have it like four but anyway, we're in Boots. I'm just trying to think if I actually need any makeup. What's this? Hydrating lip balm. Oh, I've not seen these by, by Revolution. They've got flamboyant, which is that. They've got determined, a bit more of a pink. And then they've got delicate. Oh, they all look the same colour, to be honest. No hate to you, Revolution, but they all look exactly the same. I'm just looking at the E45 products. I've just been using this on my face, <laughs> which I don't know whether it's good or not. I mean, it does say to use all over your body and face. But then they've also just got like a face moisturizer. Because obviously, that's like a moisturizing lotion. Which is this. But then I'm like, is that just the same thing? 
I don't know. Like, has it just got the same ingredients in and is it just sold as a different product? But I did also, for the like sensitive skin girlies, maybe like if you've got dry skin, um, I used to use this literally this time last year so why it says new on it i don't know because it's not but their foaming cleanser was so good it used to literally get all of my makeup off like it would just melt off with it it was such a good little cleanser and um, so i definitely recommend that if you're looking for like a gentle cleanser but i'm looking for the derma planners and i just can't see them i can see the normal razors so I don't know where things are in here bingo I got him. so good it says it's christmas cookie but it looks like a very old school yankee candle one so i'm sure the logo has changed but it smells like cinnamony like bacon it smells incredible so we've lit that we've got the youtube ambience on and i thought i'd give you a haul so i picked up quite a lot while i've been out so we've got tk max and then we've got boots and also while i was in boots i met the two loveliest girls they worked there <laughs> beth and faye and they said like we watched her on youtube and it was so lovely and i think it was faye said that her and her little sister every night ollie listen to this her sister's nine and she watches me every night on youtube on, and she says like come on then when can we watch jodie <laughs> it was so cute so her name was betsy so betsy if you're watching hello it, i would love to meet you it was so sweet like your sister coming up and she recommended a mask to me so boot haul first but they were just the most lovely girls it was so nice to meet them and I was like, what the hell? Nine-year-old, I feel like I should watch what I say now. No, you know, no swearing. Nine-year-olds are on the channel. So what I got from Boots was, this is a present for Ollie's mum, actually. She really likes this bath gel. Um, and I saw it in there, so I thought I'd pick one up for her little Christmas stocking. Then I needed some derma planner, so I got a three-pack. I don't have a receipt, so I don't know how much any of this was. But this was what I got. I've never had them from Boots before. I've never really had them from TK Maxx but hopefully they'll be okay they've got like more of a do they like i don't know what that bit is it's as if they twist a bit but i don't know and um, so i got three pack of those just because my face is so furry right now and i really needed a restock and then I just asked the girls, like, I was like, maybe you can help me. I just wanted, like, a nice mask. And I was like, I don't really, I haven't really done any research. I was like, I don't want a sheet mask. I was like, I want something, like, to sort of, like, give my skin a detox. You know, just, we were talking about it on the Sisters and Souls episodes, episode that's coming out in the morning. Like, sometimes it's just such a good, like, wholesome activity to, you know, light a candle, have a bath, and put a face mask on. Like, I feel like it's quite nice. So, they recommended this quarterly one to me, and it's, Vinaginetic C plus and it's the instant detox mask it says tightens pores and removes excess oil it's this one so I just got the mini one just to try it just to make sure that it you know doesn't break me well I guess masks always break you out to an extent down there but I feel like they do like it's like a good like, purge so I don't know I'm excited to try it though I've never had anything from Cordelie before but I know I've I think is it Amelia Olivia really raves on about it so I'm excited to try that so that's everything that I got from Boots and then when I went into um to when I went into TK Maxx I got quite a bit as well so first thing this is for me and all this is mild min natural toothpaste with aloe vera it's got no fluor fluoride SLS or preservatives and it's by a brand called Grants of Australia not bad. Fluoride free. Right from TK Max. TK Max. So we ran out of you for So I thought we could try this, and it, I bet it won't be as spicy because it says mild mint. So I'll give that a go, and I will let you guys know how I find it compared to Youth 
and then I got these are all presents so I got some Turkish delight in rose flavor that was the Too Faced was $2.99 pretty good this was $6.99 then I got this set of bath um, bubble bath and bath salt and this was 9 99 and it says made in Italy. I just thought it was like a really like gorgeous like packaging and like it was very nicely packaged and boxed and everything I thought it looked really lovely on someone's bath so I got that then I got the candle I decided to get the jasmine and amaranth one and it's a sand and fog one but I just feel like it looked oh it's hearts I didn't realize it was hearts I thought it was like leopard print but they're actually love hearts but it smells really nice and i thought that would look nice um as a present and then i got this i saw this at the till and i loved the packaging and i've just got something about like almond at the minute i'm obsessed with the scent and i thought that i mean i could literally eat that it smells like an almond croissant but i just thought those made such lovely soaps and they've got like that little pattern on the top but i just was obsessed with the box i thought that this would look so lovely in a bathroom so this was 4 99 and i think there's like four three or four soaps in there so i thought that oh three so i thought that was quite good and i just thought the box is so cute like this is the lid they had quite a few they had like fig almond a few different ones lavender but that one's not the best so that's everything i got from tk Maxx. so quite a little um got quite a few christmas presents and obviously the bits from boots were mainly for me but yeah that's what we're doing right now. I'm just going to chill for a little bit and then I'm going to tan a little bit later on. So I'll take you through all of that. Um, this set, by the way, is from... I opened it on Friday's Vlogmas. It's really... I don't know how to pronounce the name, but I feel so bad. I need to voice note and be like, how do you pronounce it? But it's like L-E-O-W-R, the label. It's like a grey set, long sleeve top and leggings. That's what I was wearing. And it had my axles on. So... Yes, I will let you know when we're having dinner and when we're going to tan and stuff, but I'm just going to chill to be honest. Maybe do some Sisters and Souls planning because I like to get ahead of myself. And also, if you have not yet discovered having these on your TV, put them on. Go on YouTube and just type in cosy ambiance fireplace. They just add such coziness to the vibe. Like, look how pretty. So, yeah, that's what we're up to. And then I will speak to you and pick you up in a little bit. Hello, Flo has completely screwed me over. It told me that my period was not coming for another three days. Tell me why I've been walking around in light grey leggings. Surprise! What a treat for a Sunday evening. I thought I had really bad stomach pains. Like I kept saying to Ollie, like, that five guys has really like ruined my stomach. I was like, I'm never having it again. I was like, this is why I don't like eating from like burger places. But no, it was just period pains. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly wash my face. This is how the drops have lasted they've actually like not gone patchy um i wouldn't say that my skin looks overly like clean though so let me just wash this off and then we can put the mask on okay i just looked at this on tiktok i also did not realize like i know what it is i've seen amelia olivia use it so much so it's like their instant detox mask so i don't exactly know how to use it i think you just put it on and it like brings out all the pores let me just look on her tiktok again also apparently the wonka film's really bad which is a shame um i wanted to watch it but i don't think i'll bother now look oh, the impurities this face mask is pulling out of my skin it's crazy so i made this face mask go viral last year because it cleans the tiny pores and leaves with the smoothest skin in 10 minutes I just can't express so she doesn't put too much on I wonder how long she leaves it on for. Oh, I think you just like leave it until. That's just my phone. I think you might leave it until all the. It's just all dried. Because she's drying very fast. It literally looks like the Primark bronze in drop colour. Okay, I could not go downstairs looking like this because it looks like it's like really patchy, like fake tanks. It's that like it's like a um, what are those things called. It's like a quarry, you know, like quarry sand. So I'm gonna have to sit up here and just wait for this to dry. I wonder how long it'll take. Like what, fifteen minutes? Just putting a little bit of 
Lenage on. We started watching Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince last night, but we did not finish it, so we've got that to finish. I did buy stuff for a hot chocolate, but I brought some like whipped cream. I've got marshmallows. I don't know. I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna. I'll see how I feel. It's still quite early. It's only like oh, my phone's over there. I have no idea what time it is. Maybe like six, but look what we've got. A crispy. You can already tell how crispy that is. It's literally dripping wet. We already know that's going to be the best Coke we have tried. Um. We've got the YouTube fireplace on, so it's been on for a couple hours. Honestly, since I last spoke to you, I did some editing. I made sure the podcast was all good to go live in the morning. If you guys don't know me and me, I have a podcast called Sisters and Souls. And it's always just a really like, nice way to start the week, to be honest, like listening to something just positive. Like we just talk about a different topic every week, something that we're feeling inspired with or something that we're feeling uninspired with and we need to re-inspire ourselves with. And like half an hour to an hour episodes every monday morning they're on youtube they're on spotify they're on apple it's just like a really nice way to start your week i feel like so yeah if you haven't listened then go and give it a listen and if you like visually watching something then we've also got youtube for season two so yeah they go live every monday as well so that is honestly what we're going to do i don't know whether i was gonna say i don't know whether it's a good idea to do my plan when i've just done this like, I don't know if it'd be better off to... I've got a little bit more around my nose. I don't know if I really did the nostril area. I'm really getting the crease. Um, I don't know whether maybe we will do my plan tomorrow. Just, like, give the skin a break. I don't want to do too much to it because I feel like this might make my skin, like, purge, but probably in a good way. Obviously, it's a detox mask. To be fair... I don't know how much this was. It was either £10 or £14. It's not the biggest bottle, but I also didn't have to use a lot on my skin. So I don't think it's a bad price, but I did see on Amazon, you can get like a bigger one, probably like that size, like a 75 mil. I think this is 35 for £20. So that's probably better value. But yeah, even so, this from Boots. So thank you, Faye, for recommending it me because I am very intrigued to see how this does. She said she was obsessed with it and I feel like you probably are like when you see it all super dry. But this camera is such a liar because you just get so filtered. You have to come up really close, see? You see where I put the new bit? Gosh, the lashes are really lashing. UK lashes truly lashing. Crazy. Right, I'll come back when it's time to wash off. Um, but honestly, I feel a little bit slumped now. It's my period. I feel very low on energy. My stomach's starting to cramp. I just don't feel we're not feeling hot girls i need to listen to sister and souls episode <laughs> oh my god it's all starting to can you see oh my god on my nose can you see it's all starting to like pull everything out oh my god that it's really hard to focus it with the flash but i'm just want to give you a proper look like can oh after all that, it's better without the flash. Can you see? Oh my gosh, look at that. It's all going like scaly. I feel like my skin is going to feel unreal. It's been a, like a hot minute, honestly, since I did a mask like this. So I'm very excited. Look who's here. Look who's here for a snuggle with her auntie. What's all got on my face? Oh my god, my face. <laughs> no, why? Duh. And that's on that's on puppy life. I want you for two minutes and then off. Right. I think we should probably wash this off because it's been. Look at my face. One sec, you need to see in the light. I've got to wash it off. It's been on for a while now. Oh, look at my face. Final scan. Detoxed. How do you do that? I've got a mask on, that's what I said. You see all the shit come out of it? Yeah. Brings all the oil out. Do you not want a bit of oil in your face? No, it gets all like the bad stuff out apparently, I don't know. Looks cool. Really?
really looks like sand. I hope it doesn't purge my skin out tomorrow, but I feel like it probably will. It definitely looks more like glowy it's definitely got a glow to it and it feels smoother for sure i mean amelia olivia said to do it every like week so i mean i'll continue to use it and see how i find it i think i'm gonna dermapal my face tomorrow just because i don't want to do too much to it and i don't want to like i want to make sure that i give this a fair shot of you know doing something good to my skin so i'm just going in with a bit of e45 and honestly that's all i've been putting on my face i also think i'm going to stop using that garnier spf slash vitamin c because i hadn't used it for a while i'd just been instead of using that i'd been literally putting this on before my makeup going in with my primer and just doing it like that and i've slowly like introduced it back the last like week and i've just had some like different spots pop up so i'm just gonna i think i'm just gonna throw that away like it's not it's not working for me and it's not really a product like Ollie would use because it's like a vitamin C serum. Um, so yeah, I think that's a pass from me. Doodles, what are you doing? So, review on that. I will keep you guys posted but I do really like it and I feel like it was a nice activity to do. I feel my skin definitely feels like cleaner. My pores here get quite big pores like here. Like I can always like feel that it's quite rough here but it definitely feels smoother. So we'll incorporate into the like weekly skincare regime and I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, right. It is time to tan. I haven't tanned for about a week and a half, to be honest. So I just need to get my ass into it. I think I'm just going to use this Isle of Paradise Hello 30 Minute Glow. It's like their Express. I have grabbed this one too. I might just do like a few spurts of this. I haven't, I've used quite a lot of this, but I've not really used much of this. But I'm thinking it would just give me like a nice easy colour. Um, this is the mitt that I'm going to use. It is a one by Sands. And then as always, I've got my little Coco and Eve. So I'll do the top half with you and then I'll come back and show you like, my hands and stuff. I'm just going to moisturise like my elbows and stuff with a bit of E45. We have just booked internal flights for Australia, which I just can't believe. Like, and I've never booked a flight myself. My mum always books my flights. Obviously she's a travel agent, but She's in Egypt right now and we had to just book it because we just keep procrastinating. So I was like, all right, let's get this booked. So we just booked in an internal flight. So we're just going to have a look at some accommodation that we need to get booked. But it's just going to be the best trip I know. But I think we're just going to sit in bed now and watch some like, Australia vlogs. Crazy. Oh, that's actually such a nice colour. It's not too dark. Just nice. Okay, on the chest, I'm just going to put it on this mitt. This is the colour of it. It actually smells so good. And then just brush it on with this. I find that this just gives me a much better like, colour payoff on the neck because it always comes off my neck. I'm doing this left handed so. we are done this is the color of it i would absolutely for sure use this as an instant tan it goes on so smoothly it doesn't smell bad it doesn't like stick go, go sticky like i've put this actually on straight away and um, for the hands what i'm going to do is put a bit of e45 on them first like this make sure it's on like all my knuckles and then Then just take the brush, put a little bit on the mitt like this, and then just lightly go over my hands. Sometimes mix it in with the moisturiser, but I've tried like this because with it being instant, I don't know if it'll last like a week. I don't know if we'll get like three, four days out of it, and then it might start washing off. My hands are so pale at the minute. I always make sure I get like in them like this, like every little nook and cranny. 
I'm really excited for a fresh week. Me and Mia have got a very fun week planned. We've got some plans together. I've got some exciting days planned as well. And we've got some really fun plans this week. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just excited for like another week of Christmassy stuff. I've got a lot of like errands to run that I've just been putting off. I'm just gonna get on with it tomorrow. Then me and Mia have got afternoon plans. Um, and then what else have we got? I mean, I'm not gonna spoil it, but Wednesday's gonna be a very fun vlogmas episode and um, we're going to my very fun and then yeah i'm just looking forward to it. i also just need to go on with like christmas shopping and stuff i need to pick my wrapping theme i need to start getting a bit more prepared so we're just gonna have a very fun week in the light i'll show you here we go so we're looking christmas now sleigh <laughs> right that is literally my tan done so i'm actually going to leave you guys here because oh my god i hope you couldn't see me in the mirror sure you're not i'm actually going to leave this vlog here because all i'm going to do is jump into bed and watch some australia vlogs so i love you guys so much thank you for spending vlogmas day 11 with me so let me know what you want to see for the rest of vlogmas and also don't forget to um end up yesterday's giveaway love you guys so much don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one